Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, got a new little camera here we're working on, so we're testing it out. But uh, Mrs. D came to me, and she's going to be the one filming, so it's going to be a good video. We already know that. Uh, but she has these boots over here, these rubber boots that have a crack in it. And we're going to make an, uh, we're going to do an attempt at fixing these so that she can at least use these around the house and uh, when we're doing some gardening and that kind of stuff. So it probably won't look super good. They're going to have kind of a patch uh, on the front, but they should at least be waterproof because right now water's just, it's just coming in, right? Yeah. Yeah. So water's just coming in. And, uh, you know, so rather than throw them away, we're going to try to make a quick repair on these things and see how it works out. So let's get started here and I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to use lacquer. Um, you have to be kind of careful on plastics and, and rubber because lacquer will melt it, but I'm only going to use a little bit and I, I don't mind it if it does that because I want, I, want it the, uh, I want the glue to be able to stick to it better. So I want to just get a little bit on here. I don't want to touch it. I just have a little tiny bit. We're just going to kind of clean this off. Just make sure it's not a very big area, but you can see it's taken off dirt pretty easily. And it's kind of, it makes it kind of sticky. So that's what you want. All right, so that's pretty good. Because now what we're gonna do is take some, some uh, I don't know what this is, Scott, or masking, masking tape. tape. We're gonna take a little bit of masking tape and we're gonna make a nice, just make a nice pattern. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make this patch just a little bit beyond here so it doesn't rip as easy. We're gonna get, we're gonna get uh, Mrs. D's final approval here. I might actually, I might have to do a little bit, a couple of strips there. It's got a, kind of a tear, I think, you know, we're, no, that's not a tear, is it? Or is it? That's a seam. That's where it's breaking, though. So we're just gonna go. Bend your. Maybe try to do a square. Square. As square. Possible. All right, so we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna go just beyond that crack. So we're just kind of making an area here, masked off. They're like the world's most comfortable. And they don't make this exact one anymore, so if I can preserve them at all, that would be awesome. So, all right, so now we're going to use this Gear Aid Aqua Seal. Um, I, this is an old tube I've had for a couple of years now. I just ha I was I got it for uh, repairing waders and stuff, but I haven't used this one. Uh, they still make this. You can get this what on Amazon. Mm -hmm. It looks a little different, I think. I now, think the but, tube is black. Yeah, the now. tube is black, but it's the same stuff. Yeah, I don't know if they have the white. I think you can use this for repairing. It's a urethane repair. You could probably use like shoe goo and stuff, but this is supposed to be pretty good stuff. So we're gonna um, we're gonna go with this, and I hope it's still good. It feels it feels fine, and it takes eight to twelve hours to dry. It looks like so. Uh, fill cavity quarter inch behind tape. Remove tape after full cure. So um, extend a quarter. Yeah. So this we're doing this we're doing this right. I guess I should read. I guess I should read the instructions, right? But nobody does that, so whatever. And then what I'm going to do is just put. I'm just going to put this on here, and I'm going to put it like. I don't know if I should put a little bit inside there, just to. I don't want to put a ton, but just to keep it from lifting up. And then we just kind of put it on thick, like a patch. There. And I'm going to go. I'm just going to kind of extend beyond this so nothing gets in there like 
to match the patch. It's pretty fashionable too, isn't it? <laughs> Don't you like this? It's gonna be styling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that off and then I'm just gonna try to smooth it a little bit with this thing. So you can just spread it over the masking tape. Yeah, masking tape. So that's not bad. Thin it out a little bit. Maybe a little garden in these and mm -hmm. run outside in the rain to do whatever. It's a well beyond that, but it just makes it look. So that's kind of where we're at right now. It's actually kind of smoothing out. It's going to be shinier than the boot, but at least it'll be in kind of a square pattern. It'll look like a nice little patch. Um, but we're going to let that set up for 8 to 12 hours and then take the peel the tape off and we'll show you the result. So stay tuned for that. All right, so we are have waited about, what do you think, 12 hours or so mm -hmm. for this to dry. And it looks like it's settled up. I had to put a little bit more on the top just this little blob because it was lifting a little bit. So I just kind of covered it and it settled out, but it dripped a little bit. So we're gonna see if we can take this off and what it looks like. I may have to cut it with a knife carefully. I don't know. Let's see if this works. Ooh, it's kind of peeling up. I'm gonna, I may have to just kind of like score that a little bit. This is really sticky stuff, isn't it? There it goes. It's like really tough. That's good, right? It's not very clean. We got a little too much on there. They don't make this in in a mat. No. It's just always, always shiny. Yeah. <clears throat> Guess it's better than a crack. I'm just gonna do the work boots. Just, that's just the glue got under the tape a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take this off. Did that not come off then? No, that's that's actually stuff. Like it's glue. It kind of wicked under it. See how good that works. I don't know how long it's gonna hold. <clears throat> it's not super pretty. Not as cute, but you know. It looks like it looks like tape. It, it was a pretty bad crack. So. Yeah, it was a big giant crack. You can see it's still kind of bumped up right there where the crack is. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's still a little flexible, so probably when you get this a little dirty, it'll kind of dull out. I should have peeled this off a little earlier before it's set up. All right, well, that's it. Mrs. D, you got some uh, work boots ready to go here. So 
it should be all right. I think I think these will last uh, live another day at least. Maybe another, maybe one day. <laughs> you will give an update. At some we'll give, point. Yeah, if it falls apart. But it'd be interesting to if it if it falls apart, it'd be interesting to see how long it lasts. You know, I don't know how. I'm not gonna like really go crazy on this yet. It's not quite hard. Yeah, maybe wait. Did it, it didn't get inside or anything, did it? No. Feels fine. It has that fur on the inside. Yeah. So. All right, that's how you repair your rubber boot with Aqua Seal. It's not super pretty, but it does work, and uh, it should work. So we're going to find out here in the next little while because it's super rainy, and uh, you're going to test these out pretty soon, <laughs> I would imagine. So, all right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.